Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a fall spiral. Decide where you want the center of your spiral to be and give it a little pinch and then spiral it up. And as usual, I'm using the microwave splatter guard that I got off of Amazon, and I have a link for it down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye, so go ahead and check that out. And then I click my hemostat down on the first click. It does not need to be over tightened. You do not want to tear a hole in the center of your shirt. And then just begin to spiral it up with your opposite hand creating the pleats. Once you've gone as far as the microwave splatter guard will allow you, you want to unclip your hemostat and gently wiggle it out while you hold down the center of the spiral, and then secure it by using rubber bands. I like to create a nice tight spiral, one that's not going to fall apart on me when I'm moving it around. So I like to pull on the tails of the shirt and tuck them into the nearest rubber band. I wasn't quite satisfied with all the loose tails that were still sticking out, so I decided to take a rubber band and put it around the perimeter. I'm going to do something a little bit different on this spiral. So using a washable marker, mark out your pattern. This one's going to be a little extra fancy. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And I want to remind you guys that I have this sped up to warp speed, I am not adding the dye this quickly. So I'm editing this video and I can see how long it actually took me. I was laying the dye on the front and the back side of this shirt for one hour and six minutes. Once I get this first layer of Dutch chocolate on, I'm going to flip it over and add the first layer of Dutch chocolate to the back. That way it has a chance to get into those fibers and start reacting. I don't want it to spread out super wide, so I'm not going really heavy on the first pass, just enough to get it down in there. For these single dies, I really like to use this setup where I use the cooling rack and then the dollar store foil trays. That way I'm able to spin the project in front of me and I'm not going over top of it with my dye bottle. It just works out really great. Give that a try.
Well, it's Thanksgiving Day here in the United States and a day that we get together with friends and family and celebrate um, you know, what we're thankful for. And I wonder what all of you are thankful for. What I'm thankful for today is I'm thankful to have friends and family that I love and that love me. And I'm also very thankful for the tie-dye community that I have found. I have met some really wonderful people that have been very supportive and helpful along this journey of me learning how to create tie-dye. And, and I'm, now I'm able to share it with all of you. And I'm so thankful that I have found tie-dye. It's been a really, really hard year. And if I didn't have tie-dye to keep me going and um, to share with all of you and you share back with me, I just, I just don't know where I would be. So I'm very, very thankful. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day and do something wonderful and fun and just enjoy yourselves. And let me know what you're thankful for. The first die layer is on the top side, so now I want to flip it over, and using another rack to flip it is very helpful, that way it doesn't fall apart on you. And now you just want to repeat the process that you did on the front side, on the back side. A quick little reminder, if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel and then give it a thumbs up. And YouTube is working on getting rid of the dislikes because a lot of people are being targeted and getting thumbs down um, just for no good reason, just because people want to be spiteful. So I think that's a really good thing that YouTube is finally doing. It's unnecessary to dislike somebody's art. It's really quite hurtful. and. If you're able to, on your first entry into the video, please let it play all the way through. And then if you wanna, you know, maybe later in the afternoon, go back and, you know, fast forward it around and choose parts you wanna look at, then, you know, that's great. But YouTube counts the first time in as a view and then pretty much doesn't count anything else. So fast forwarding to the end um, is really hurting my channel. So. I do appreciate all of you that are able to watch and do watch and leave me comments and I'm so far behind on comments. I have a couple days off this weekend so I'm going to try to get caught up. So thanks again everybody. I really do appreciate you. Now that you have it all saturated, it's time to cover it and batch it for 48 hours. It's been 48 hours and now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. And then I take it to the washing machine and I do two hot water cycles with Synthropol and I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft, and that brings softness back into the fibers after the dyeing process. And I get both of those from Dharma Trading Company. And the reason why I've decided that I'm using two Synthropol hot water cycles is because I wash like eight shirts at the same time, and I just wanna make sure that I'm not getting a bunch of like cross dye on each other. So then I put it in the dryer, and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is, guys. Here's our fall-inspired spiral. 
after it's been washed and dried. Say that five times really fast. So I like this shirt. I think it turned out pretty funky. The colors definitely remind me of Thanksgiving. I'm going to put it up on Etsy. It's a 2XL unisex type Gildan shirt. Um, and I'm gonna also spend some time trying to get more things listed this weekend. So go ahead and check that out. The link for Etsy is down below in the description box along with everything else. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.